Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tosis from Tabletop Games. Today, I've got a Fortnite <laughs> secret Leary drop. Um, I I think this is just fun, really funny, personally. This is a little bit of a more like a joke to me, I guess. It's like kind of. I, I guess I don't know. I, I think I bought it for more ironic purposes than anything else. But I'm, a, you know, I mean, if there's some good stuff in there, there's some good stuff in there. I, I went ahead and took the the outside stuff off already. Um, I hope that's not a problem, but we'll, we'll just jump into it. So we'll take the stuff out, we'll set it over here, and uh, we'll get to the good stuff. So let me just go ahead and I'll just detach the uh, stuff off as nicely as I can, and we'll get to the secret one uh, last. So I'll go ahead and put this, put this back in there. All right, so let's check this out. There's, uh, there's definitely some cards in here that I, I like, I either like because I've played them before, or like play them currently, or uh, I played them as a kid, I believe it or not, but, uh, so, uh, and I got the, the foil version, because, you know, I think that's the only, if I'm gonna get something, like, weird, like a secret layer, I mean, it's like a foil, right? But yeah, hopefully, hopefully this, well, I mean, I know it's, what stuff's in it, since obviously it's set, but, eh, you get the idea. Now that being said, we're gonna jump into it. So first, we've got... A Shrinking Storm, which is, let me focus in on this. Shrinking Storm, which is a Wrath of God. We got, for two, two generic, two white straw creatures, they can't be regenerated. Flavor text, watch the skies. I can play, I'll definitely play this. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's the classic board wipe, right? It's where, that's where uh, the, the term Wrath comes from. So, I mean, can't go wrong there. We got Dance Battle, which is actually Dance of the Many. So for two blue, it's an enchantment that's uh, when it enters the battlefield, you create a token copy that's a copy of not, uh, target non-token creature. Uh, when dance battle leaves the battlefield, you exile the token, and when the token leaves the battlefield, you sacrifice dance battle. And at the beginning of your turn, you sacrifice it unless you pay two blue. So you just get a copy of something, which is kind of cool. And for one and one blue, it's Supply Llama, which is an Ethereum Sculptor. Artifact spells cost you one less to cast. It says, don't worry, they won't. <laughs> they want you to smash them for the llamas. We got Crack the Vault, which is a Grim Tutor. <laughs> it's the second, I think this is the second, or this is not the first time they've uh, put Grim Tutors in the secret lair, so. Uh, search your library for a card, put that card in your hand, and shuffle, you lose three life. It says, you see a lock, I see an invitation. Then we've got Battle Royale, which is Triumph of the Hordes. It says, until the end of turn, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain Trample and Infect. Don't know how I got here, but I'll be the last one standing. It's flavor text. Uh, this one's I'm excited about, because I played this as a kid. It's Smuggler's Copter. Too generic, you get a 3-3 a three, three flyer with Crew 1, that when it attacks or blocks, you draw a card, but if you do, you discard, discard a card. And flavor text, don't forget to thank the bus driver. And then our last card here looks like for the the non-secret one is our Planar Bridge, which is the cube. So you ta uh, eight and tap, you search your library for a permanent card and put it on the battlefield and shuffle. Its power levels are off the charts. The flavor text. And we'll check out the uh, secret one here right now. So I'll try and uh, open it without showing it off just yet, which is a little tough. I'll do it off camera. <laughs> There we go. Alright. Last card, we've got the Boogie Bomb. So, I'll have to get up here. So for one generic, we get a Pyrite Spell Bomb. It says uh, for one red, you sacrifice it, deals two damage to any target, or you pay one generic, sacrifice it, and draw a card. It says you're gonna love this next one, flavor text. And uh, yeah, that's the Fortnite secret lair. There is uh, some silly stuff in this. I think there is like a more advanced version of this that has more in it, but I couldn't find it. Uh, I'm not not sure though. I think that's I think that's what I saw when I saw this was coming out. But uh, you know, I didn't look into it too much. You know, <laughs> yeah. You know, if you want any one of these particular cards, I think you should always buy singles or just buy the card that it's supposed to be. But if you really want the Fortnite uh, the Fortnite art, then yeah, yeah, I think, unless you want the whole set, you should just buy singles. 
But that being said, though, there's not, there's definitely not, um, there's, there's a couple, there's a handful of good cards in this. Like, I, the Wrath of God, very playable. Um, Supply Llama, I see very, being very, it's very playable. Uh, Grim Tutor, playable. You know, but I, I don't know about Smuggler's Copter, but I, I imagine that'd be playable in a vehicle's deck. Uh, Cube, definitely, definitely playable if you're playing, like, big creatures like Eldrazi or something. And, you know, Boogie Bomb's not too bad either, since it's just a, um, it's a shock on an artifact that you could draw a card off of. I mean, that being said, it's it's worse than shock, in my opinion, but rather I'd rather just shock something. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, that's the, that is the secret layer. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, follow me on my socials at Toasty Tabletop Games on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitch. Other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.